Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to give you an overview slash review of two Inatech products I got sent for review. So I'd like to thank Inatech for sending me these two products. Uh, the two products in question are first of all a four port hub, um, well four port um, uh, USB slot 3.0 slots um, at, that connects into a PCIe slot. So to install this it's pretty simple, you need to use the cable provided and you can either go to a Molex or SATA connection. The SATA wire I have actually got is over here. And as you can see it's got the SATA connection if needs be. So you can choose either or and I chose uh, the Molex connection and as you can see the Molex connection over here is connected to my PSU which is the Corsair a AX750. So you want to ensure that it's got power because without power the USB 3.0 ports won't work. The PCIe connection is needed in order to communicate with your, um, well, your hard drive slash motherboard. Anyway, so once you've got that connected, um, what I've done is I connected a USB 3.0 device at the back of that. And what better to do that than another Inatech product I got sent for review. And that's this little hub over here. Now this little hub, um, it's, <laughs> it's at the moment right here simply because um, the wire is a little short. And that's one thing I'll just um, uh, come across in just a second. As you can see it's a four port uh, USB 3.0 hub which is quite useful because um, you can have four ports um, connected to your PC um, for your PC's one connection. So that means uh, without without this I would have only um, one USB 3.0 port but with this I now have four USB uh, 3.0 ports and more so they're more accessible because as it's a little hub I can put this on my desk. Now the beauty of this hub is actually um, its secondary feature which is its uh, power and by power I mean it's actually got power that's connected down to the sockets down there. Now the reason why this is good is because if you have external hard drives they require power. They might be 3.0 enabled, that's great, but in order to power them they have to be usually powered straight from the motherboard or externally powered by a power source. The Inatech 4 port 3.0 hub comes with a power supply thing which goes into this little um, socket down here and it connects in just there. I don't actually need it right now because I don't need uh, any extra power. As you can see it's perfectly powered by my PC via USB 3.0, uh, the 3.0 uh, wire. However, if needs be, it's very useful to have it and I think this is one of the selling features of this hub. Now moving over to the hub itself, it's quite nice. What happens is you've got a little green light which indicates the device is being used. This wire actually is for my camera which I am actually holding right now in my hands and as it's not connected it has no green light on it. So that means when I connect something a green light will be indicated. Now in terms of um, its, uh, its functionalities, it's pretty simple. What I've done in order to test it, what I did is I connected this wire straight into my uh, USB 3.0 of my Asus motherboard. And then what I did after that to test the card, uh, as in this PCIe uh, card over here, is I connected that hub into the PCIe um, uh, hub, a four port switch, let's say. And I tested the speed differences to see if there was any speed differences between the two and I can safely say I had no speed differences. I'd like to point out that my um, my USB that I've got here is a 3.0 enabled device and inside is a micro SD card, it's a Samsung uh, class 10 micro um, SD card which is in an SD card adapter which is connected into this um, 3.0 card reader. Now I just want to show you the is the product as you can see on Amazon. As you can see over here, um, what I did is before, in terms of testing the the hub, that little round hub, is I connected into um, I connected into 2.0, and the 2.0 speeds, as you can see, 20 megabytes per second, which is decent. However, when I connected it up to the 3.0, it went to 21 or 20. 25. Now it doesn't seem like a huge increase, which indeed it isn't, however this is because of the limitations of my little SD card. It is a class 10 card which is granted, however that said some of them are limited to certain speeds. So the speeds it's attaining are good and the speeds it can attain 
are pretty much maximal at 20, 21 to 22 megabits per second. However, if you had a faster 3.0 device, then you would realize huge increases in speed. So this inc increment in speed shows to me that the device is actually working. Now this 2.0 was connected into the PC. As you can tell, there, is no two, there was no 2.0 um, port on the on the hubs. That said, I should mention that the Inatech products are backward compatible with 2.0 and uh, 1.0 um, USB. So that means you can plug in your 2.0 devices in there. But anyway, moving back to these um, little tests, which I did via HD Tune. So this was 2.0 connected into PC. This is 3.0 connected into the PC. And by connected into the PC, I mean I put my little card reader straight into PC, ignoring in any Inatech product. And then this, as you can see, were the speeds I got with um, the the little round hub. So now. If I want to go and test the speed, as you can see, I just hit start. Well, because HD Tune, I need to close HD Tune and reopen HD Tune. And press start. And as you can see, the speeds are indicated there. And now that is currently reading the speed of that connected to this hub and that hub connected to that four four port switch. So in other words, we're getting the same speeds as we were getting when the hub was di when, when that little hub was directly connected there and or when that little um, card reader was connected directly to the PC. So therefore, um, the product is very good because it does what it says on the tin. Let's put it this way. Price wise, it's actually very affordable as well. From what I'm aware, the round hub is around £20 and um, the, the little switch which is not available in the UK at the moment but in Euros is €22 Euros, which comes down to around about £20 I would say, 18 to £20 is very much worthwhile. Um, if you need to increase your ports on your PC then this is a very good um, a very good uh, uh, card to get and if you want to put these um, the USB 3.0s on your desk then this is very very uh, useful to have as well I would personally suggest this product over the other one simply because this gives you more versatility instead of bending down and um, reaching down to your PC you can just have it on your desk which it was here uh, just a second ago um, and just plug in the things the only cons of this product is um, well I'll start with the PCIe card is the fact that when it came to driver installation it wasn't too clear and the driver installation looked a bit uh, looked a bit funny now what by funny I took a print screen of that and and as you can see when you run the software it's not very much formatted properly however when I did finally get to get it to install everything did install properly and that was there and the windows came up and found the devices unfortunately windows did not in automatically install the devices you needed the driver disk to do that or you can download it via their website so that was the only downfall of that PCIe um, uh, card in terms of this um, little hub, the four point hub um, four port hub, sorry, um, the only downfall is that actually it's USB uh, cable connection to the PC. I found it a little bit on the short side. As you can see, the wire is about one, I'd say one meter or maybe 1.5 meters, and I would have liked this to be a little bit longer. The reason why is because, as you can see right now, my, my computer is not too far from my desk, but I'm unable to put that over here because the wire is too short. Therefore, the, the hub is there, meaning the hub is kind of use, um, useless in respect of um, ease of use is um, removed from um, removed from its capabilities slash um, competences. Let's put it that way. My, uh, the, the user's competences. Let's put it that way. Anyway, so the wire is its only downfall. So if your computer and your desk aren't far uh, from each other, then it's great. 
um, what I what I've done, the reason why it's there at the moment is because it's connected to the four port switch at the bottom. If I disconnect it and put it near the top of the PC, then I have no problem extending that over here and having that hub right here. Another downfall that I found with this um, with this uh, four port switch is its LED lights. Now the LED lights are very nice and I really do like them because it does indicate um, what is on and what is off especially the green um, lights over here. However, ignoring the green lights, the red light over here is pretty bright. And personally, I don't like anything um, distracting me when I'm at my desk. Okay, I've got quite a few lights on my keyboard and mouse, but I don't know anything else like shining over here. Therefore, I tend to, I tend to hide the hub behind my um, sound system so that I can't see the light. I wish that light wasn't there and what I probably will do is put a little bit of black tape over it so I don't see the light just because it bothers me a little bit. Now this is a really minor thing to mention but I thought it's worth mentioning because some people are always curious about standby lights and whatnot. Um, and what I'm going to do actually is switch off the PC because I know my Asus motherboard sometimes doesn't switch off uh, its hub and I'm just curious if it's going to keep that hub on. So. As you can see, it's disconnected its USB from there, and that is turned off as well, which is good. So, when it's off, you won't have an annoying LED light, um, but when it's on, you'll have that little uh, red light on. Just depends on your personal preference, but personally, I would have preferred no light, but it's useful to have a light, um, with that said, because it allows you to know if the device is working or not. Maybe it would have been a bit more useful if the light was underneath, because you don't really need to know if the device is working after you know it's working, if that makes sense. So if you, as soon as you see it on, that's great. After that, I don't really need to know. I don't always need to know, especially if the green lights indicate that something's connected. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview slash review of the two products. I, I really do suggest those two products, they're very good. Um, especially that four port um, little hub, the round hub, because I think people can benefit from it. People like my mum who have a limited amount of USB slots or even um, someone which um, has very few um, USB slots on their um, on their older PCs. Um, so what they can do is get the uh, PCIe card which connects into their old motherboard which doesn't have any 3.0 slots. Then that will enable them 3.0 speeds and with 3.0 speeds then you can go for something like the hub to give you that extended coverage to put it somewhere else or whatnot. Anyway guys, that's all I'm going to say <clears throat> about the two products. I definitely recommend them and do rate them 5 out of 5 for both of them. As I said, those two little, um, well three minor things on both products should be mentioned and are uh, worth noting. Anyway guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.